episode 13 of Improper Etiquette. I'm Laura Styles, and Leah McSweeney is here. I know, but I'm not used to making me sound like a guest. <laughs> it's okay. Leah McSweeney's here. It's our podcast. It's our podcast. <laughs> and Chanel West Coast is joining us today. What's up? Now, listen, this is new because normally we just come here and record yeah. willy-nilly. And uh, this time I was like, you know what? We're going to have some cameras in here. It's exciting. I have, like, and, butterflies. And we're going to slap it on the Hot 97 YouTube. It's kind of so, a big deal. So it's it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of usually, mage. It's kind of mage. It's kind of mage. <laughs> it's kind of mage. So for the audience that has never tuned into us before, and if you're new, welcome. Yeah. And Proper Etiquette is available on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Stitcher, wherever else the fuck you can find it. If you have an Android, you can yeah. get it anywhere, okay? Seriously. So we do, it's, it's real hardcore girl talk. And it's incredible the amount of people that approach me on the street Mostly guys, because originally know, we decided is... to do this for girls, right? Yeah. I know, and it turns into, like, <laughs> actually, like, we have so many more guy listeners because they want to hear what is going on in the minds of women. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because girls already know what we're and thinking. Some, and some girls, girls are scared to, to hear, you know, raunchy talk, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I lame have, girls. I have, <laughs> But, you know, no, it's just some girls that maybe they're not in the right setting, you know? They don't yeah. have girlfriends that they can speak openly with. Yeah. Right. You know, because I definitely That's got terrible. some of those. I know, right? But That's now we so... become their friends. Totally. And I'm in. They hit us up on Twitter. It's for, awesome. First of all, the Twitter love is insane. Last uh, last episode, so every time we talk about certain subjects, right, mm -hmm. we kind of, like, encourage people to tweet us with little emojis. Yeah. So oh, we boy. know we have, like, a secret language of got what's it. going on. So we had an episode on the podcast called Dominican Dick Chamber, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where we talk about, I, I talked about how a Dominican dick imprisoned me. And I literally was like, it was one of the, some of the best sex of my life, but I was really like, okay, I had enough. Like, yeah, I need yeah. to get out of here. Like, yeah, it, like, I gotta go. The vag is like starting to like fall apart. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. bad. So people people were tweeting us like the, the Dominican flag and like yeah. the eggplant. And, and then Shane, it was amazing. All day from the emoji. <laughs> I want more eggplants. <laughs> and then, you know, so it gets, it gets fun. So look, so what we do is this. Well, the mouse tail. Oh. I mean, we don't have to talk about the mouse tail again because I think a lot of people were like, Ugh. but the the emojis people were sending us, it was like incredible. But a lot of it was like, it was like the like red like circle with the, no all right, mouse so tailing. mouse tailing, which is, my sister told me this is what it's called. Okay. Is when a guy takes your tampon out with his teeth. Okay, that's nasty. It happens. Definitely never done that. Okay, so <laughs> it happens to me. So someone did it to me once, and, like, it's not like I was heavy flow or anything. Oh, my gosh. And, I mean, I think he just wanted to do it just to be weird. Like, it wasn't, like, a turn on. Yeah, I was yeah. like, can you, I'm just going to take it out with my hands. He's like, no, I'm going to take it out with my teeth. And this was, like, my one, this, <laughs> this was, know, like, my, so my like, super, like, when I got sober, I met him, and then we just started, like, having insane sex because like I was off drugs and like that's like all I had to do and he was sober <laughs> yeah. too so we were like yeah like we just went wild sexually and I had never had sober sex so me and him were just going wait in. wait you never had sober sex not until I got sober wow I never knew that yeah I never even knew that like people looked each other in the eyes when they had sex <laughs> until I got sober I was like yeah. I'm like yo why are you looking at me like that like why are you? and he's like You're open your he's like open your eyes and I'm like no like this is weird it's intense to do that right I, I mean it's intense when you're having sex with someone and you're looking them in the eyes I had never done it even with my kid's dad of six years we never looked each other in the eyes and then when I got sober and I went back to my kid's dad and I said don't you think it's weird we never looked each other in the eyes when we had sex he's like yeah I guess so <laughs> but anyway that's mouse tailing and we talked about know. it we talked now you know we talked about it on the last episode and so people were sending little mouse emojis with like you know like X's or something like because no one or, was really into that or or some were just mousing it up. <clears throat> People are out here mousing it up, mouse tailing it up. I was really surprised. I was yeah. like, wow. Your nails look good. Thank you. I did the whole like metallic. Wait, you did like, oh, that's cute. great. Nice, right? That's awesome. Thank you. Love it. Yeah, I got the whole like, I was like, give me some chrome nails. Yeah, that bitch. metallic Wait, is in right now. You know what? This chrome is like getting really popular. Like, how did that happen? I don't know. You know, um, I had, I used to get, um, Trends. you know, in, in LA, Chanel, you you live in LA. Have you ever been to that spot, Pampered Hands? That's where I go. Yeah. yeah. I've been that's, there that's too. And then I go to nail, actually, I go to nails on 7th here. Oh, damn. Um, All right. I feel really lame right now. I just have like, a Nails on French. 7th is the best here. It's in Harlem. Uh, Jenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where she goes. Yeah. It's the best. And yeah. she does them so fast, too. Like, I'll sit at Pampered for two hours. Mm -hmm. Regular nails. Cardi B goes over there. All the girls go over there. Yeah. I saw Paris Hilton's mom there. So that was, like, kind of a big deal for me. How do you even know her mom looks like 
looked like. I mean, it's Kathy Hilton. Like, I was like, there's Kathy Hilton, like, getting a foot massage, like, right next to me. Like, I'm starstruck. Like, forget Paris. Like, her mom's a bigger deal. Yeah. That's funny. So, um, I used to get the foiled nails in, uh, whenever I would go to L.A. Yeah. And I couldn't find them here. And I would go to, like, uh, you know, all the crazy nail salons here, and they were, they're so fucking expensive. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I know why. It's, like, it's a trip here how the nail game is, like, so different. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. like, I went to three nail salons one time, and they're, like, we don't do acrylics. I'm, like, you don't do acrylics. I'm, like, everybody just has nice natural nails. Like, I don't get it. Like, no, they do, like, gel. 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 Building gel. Everything is gel. Whatever. But it's, like, like, I know I love going to L.A. and getting my nails done because it's so much cheaper. Yeah. And getting a wax. Well, now that I did my whole laser, it's all gone. I don't need that anymore. But... When I would go get a wax in LA, it's like twenty dollars, and here it's like eighty. I'm I know. Like, How's this possible? Everything's more expensive here. Yeah, oh, yes. it's crazy. No, believe By me. the way, I'm surviving this whole laser situation because I didn't know. So in the last podcast, I talked about I, I Leah inspired me to go get my Vijay laser. I, I started to. It's the but best. I have blonde hair, so it's not working very oh, well for me. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my hair's black. <laughs> my hair is dark. Yeah, that shit is. So I so you have to shave. I've, I've been waxing for years, yeah. right? So you have to shave in between. Yeah. And I shaved once, and I was like, "How the fuck do girls shave?" Because I was like, in the corner, scratching my crotch. <laughs> you know when it's growing back and it's all itchy. Oh, it's yeah. oh my worst. god, this it's is weird. I was just worst. telling my girl about the other day. I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "With his underwear." I was like, "I don't have oh. underwear." The way I shaved, <laughs> it's, it's just the worst. Me. Totally. So I finally was like, "All right, I'm gonna do it." So I went and I I did my first session. And I already see a difference. So I'm going back next week. But it's I was like, incredible. I was like, I got to, because a part of me was like, what if I just wax in between and figure it out? But I was yeah. like, no. no, 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 you can't. No, yeah. you can't do that. I want to get my legs done next because it's like you shave. Game changer. You Game fucking changer. shave your legs. And like 10 minutes later, yeah. the hair is back or you get cold and the hair is back. I'm like, how? what the fuck? I just shaved. Yeah, I did it. The I did most all of my legs. Thing. I'm trying to be a hairless cat out here. I know. Me I'm too. doing I my legs. To. That's my next thing. That's going to be like my breakup mm-hmm. gift to myself. I'm doing the armpits because that like that hair I'm doing actually hair. isn't I'm doing blonde arm, for me. I'm so it's arm. working on my armpits. It's going to go like this. I've been doing yeah, armpits. Like, but like all of my other hair is like blonde. So I have to like go way more than. Yeah, you're like a natural. Yeah. You're a like, natural blonde. I'm naturally dirty blonde on my head, but like everywhere else is pretty light. Super, super <laughs> yeah. blonde. Yeah. So Chanel, you're originally from, wait, were you born in LA or, or New York? Born in LA. My parents made me here and then my mom <laughs> moved to LA when she was pregnant. So I was born there. Okay. What part? Uh, in Van Nuys. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. But your dad lives here. Yeah. My dad lives here and my dad's side of the family. That's so nice. So you come here often all the time. Yeah. She was like, I, she walked in and she's like, I don't know how you guys do all this partying shit. Because it's fashion week here. I mean, I don't, do part, I don't do partying shit. That's Yo, what we I'm, talked about last time, too. I, like, do Netflix sing shit. <laughs> That's but, what I do back home, though. Like, I chill way did more it. at home. I know. We did do. We're, oh, I did. I, I mean, yeah. I, like, by the time I was 18, I was like, all right, I'm done going to clubs. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you know? pre- you're pretty much a G. <laughs> no, I, like, stopped a long time ago. Exactly. But New York definitely takes a toll on your body if you yeah. don't watch out. Because we don't. In L.A., parties are over at 2. You could go home and still get a nice chunk of sleep. Yeah. yeah this shit, here, you're out till 6 a.m. here. You're stumbling in at 6 a.m. Yeah. Wait, yeah. speaking of which, are you feeling better? Yeah, I had a respiratory infection or oh, some damn. shit. Yeah. That's what I had before. And I was coughing for, like, a month straight. And I swear to God, it's because we are run the fuck down. You're more run down than me but i have the stress Gee, of the thanks. kid but you're out more than me and you sleep less than me yeah my schedule but i'm just bonkers. a stress case yeah so my my doctor told me that it's definitely because i'm not sleeping enough stress but that shit is the worst and you know what made me feel worse because i had to fly out to miami for the weekend um the the airplane itself oh I was yeah in there. forget it yo i was feeling better when i was in miami and as soon as i took the flight yeah. i felt like shit yeah, there's mad germs on there. Like, do they even clean those it's things disgusting. like properly? Like, no, it's like definitely people, like, not. Literally, I got. That's what I was thinking the other day when the flight was getting off, and then they're like, "Okay, like we got on right after." I was like, "Did they even clean?" Like, I'm like, like they. It was like they five should minutes. Definitely Clorox that shit up. But like, it's just it's gross. Yeah, flying will get you sick. So easy. Chanel, I have to apologize to you. Oh my god, it's here all we good. go. Yeah. I was gonna bring no, this no, up. No, 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 no. I have to apologize <laughs> to you because uh, when Steela Brim was here, I was like, "Fucking Chanel, man." Fuck I, her, yeah, man. I watched the interview. Oh my god. Good. I was like, yo, I was. Why are you bitch? No. I was such a big, why? Because she has the best job ever. <laughs> and then I thought of it, I'm like, well, hold on. I have like the best job ever too. I mean, yeah. You have yeah, a pretty I was cool actually, job I was too. Like, I should be like, job. fuck both of you exactly. bitches. I watched the interview and I was actually thinking, I was like, this girl's got a tight job too. Yeah. Though. She's I was like, I the best. Like, it's like, fuck Chanel, man. Why she gets to sit there with fucking Rob Dyrdek, who I love. I, I want to go to the Fantasy Factory. It's I gone. want to There's also. There's no more Fantasy <gasps> Factory. It's like the saddest thing. I know. It's like an end of an era for me. He, what do you mean? He got he got a new office building like closer to him because that was all the way in downtown LA. If you know LA traffic, it was just like too much of 
a commute. So now he has a new like office building in Beverly Hills. It's oh. not like the factory though. It's not like a, a fun place. You know, it's like because that's, that's really what it was. That was his office that he just turned, turned into, into this and then crazy turned fun into the place show. and then turned into the show. They so. had they had mini horses. Or horse, I don't know. He's had every pet, like pigs. <laughs> like I mean, we've been, we he lo- he like has this thing for animals. So like we've been around tigers, like it's okay, crazy. that would bears. scare the shit out. I don't want to be around. There was a, tiger a, bear, or a bear in the factory. I was what like, craziest shit. Like it's like how did you how did you guys meet? You and um, Rob. It's a long. It's a really long story. To make it short. Yeah, through, make it short through MySpace music. <laughs> um, I had oh, a wow. mu- I had a music page like back when I was like you know seventeen, eighteen, and. I was like on my grind, just adding everybody, and like <laughs> drama was in the top artist because he was making beats back then. Mm-hmm. So like I would add all the top artists and then add all their top friends because I'm like I figured they got somebody like a manager or something. Their top friends, like you know, it's a good <laughs> way to connect. So I would add all the top friends, and in drama's top friends was like Rob and like all my skater homies, and like it was actually drama's brother who reached out to me first and was like, "What's his name again?" Big Cat. Okay. And he was like, "Well, that's his nickname. His name's Scott." But but Big, <laughs> Big Cat, Cat was like. He had wrote to me and was like, yo, I did not think that I was going to hear that music with that face. And I was like, yeah, I get that a lot. And like, I ended up talking to him and then we found out we lived literally across the street from each other. So he was like, oh, we're chilling tonight. Like all the skaters. It was like the skater house where all the skaters Mm -hmm. lived. And they're like, come over. So that was the first time I kicked it with drama. (laughs) First time I kicked it with drama and Big Cat. And then I ended up meeting Rob through them and, and like. I used to do all these little shows where, like, you have to, like, sell tickets. Like, you know, it's not like shows now where I get paid to do it. But, like, like selling tickets on Craigslist type shit. And, right. And I would always try to invite Rob. I'm like, yo, I got this show tonight. Come. And he was so busy. You can never come. And one day, I invite him to a show I had. And he's like, I can't make it. But, you know, I was actually wondering if you want to be on an episode of my new show. I'm like, all right, what, what am I going to do? And he's like, well, I need a receptionist. And I'm doing this viral video. So maybe you can come and, like, rap in the viral video. People will get to see you rap on TV. And I was like, all right, that's cool. And and so I came, I did one episode, and then they asked me to, like, do it permanently. And that's... That's, like, the stars aligning. Yeah, and that's like, how it happened. You know what I mean? Okay, so listen, so you obviously are, like, a fucking hustler because that's, like, Thank some you. straight up, like, working your way from the bottom to the top kind yeah. of thing. Does that intimidate guys, like, for dating and stuff? Um, I think so, actually. It has I was, to. I was just talking to my girl about it. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe some of my ex-boyfriends, like, my last boyfriend especially, like... The one that I met. Uh, Liam, the young yes, one? Yes, yeah. him. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's a singer, too. And, like, I think for him also being younger than me, like, it was it was hard for him to be less successful, younger, mm. like... I didn't and, think that was gonna... I didn't see... I was kind of like, you needed someone. Yeah. I was thinking that when I saw you. He seems really nice and no, stuff, but I was like... He's, he's loyal, but he's... Yeah possessive and mm. i can't do possessive i'm like i'm on my he's grind. a character this guy he, no, really he's, <laughs> he's hilarious he's yeah. hilarious i mean he's, he's like putting on a show nonstop, I mean, or at least in public yeah like he's like he's like a musical genius but that's also like the best way to describe it is like he's very similar to to chris brown who i also know Uh-oh. personally like just real crazy you know <laughs> right, what i mean right, right, like right. A, off the wall like don't know like when to like not say certain things like they're just like that's how he is like that musical genius type person that's a little bit a little bit crazy. So you're not with him anymore. No, we so broke you're up. single. Yes, and I'm kind of dating somebody new who actually lives here, which um, is oh, really dope. Oh, so now you're gonna be here more. Yeah, so I'll probably be coming here a little bit. Is more he more. a New Yorker? Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. Oh, good. That's is he good. a skater? No, not is, a skater. Is he in the music industry? No, good. which is good because that's my good. last two boyfriends were in the music industry, and I'm like, I just feel like. You know, like, obviously, as an artist, you get attracted to other mm-hmm. artists who, like, have talent, but, like... Yeah, the people that are in your world, you're, like, meeting them, and yeah, that's so, who you're around. so it kind of is easy to fall into that, but I just feel like it's better to be with, like, a dude that's got, like, a more normal job, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. and it, it's, like, a better hmm. balance, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Stop. Maybe you need a firefighter. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, no, no, no. Not that normal, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have a firefighter. They're, trust me, they're not he normal. Said not that normal. Yeah, they're not normal. They're not normal. No, 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 they're not oh, normal. They're not? Okay, trust me, they're not normal. <laughs> All right, so look, what we do is out. Uh, We've been having so much love. I know, it's crazy. I know, we have people who just email us and yeah. like hit us up. And, you know, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's emailing us and sharing their personal stories with us because people it's, send us their issues, their problems, whatever's going on in their lives. And it's we an, it's an honor. It's kind of flattering. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So it's improper etiquette podcast at gmail.com. So everybody could just go ahead and shoot away. They send us like comments and emails. So we go through them. So maybe you can help us answer okay. some of these issues. Okay. Cool. okay? So let's uh you you want to take the first one? Okay. From 
Should I say his name? Hold on. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. From Danny. Okay. BV talk made my girlfriend crazy. We were talking about BV last week. B- what's BV? Okay. It's really great that you don't know that. That means you never had it. Bacterial <laughs> vaginosis. Oh, okay. It's when your um, pH is off and it like your vagina kind of smells like fishy. Oh, and no, some girls, I'm lucky to, I've some never girls had get it chronically. Like I've had it a couple times. It's like, it, but some girls get it chronically. You yeah. know what I mean? And and it, and it, what it is too is just like sometimes you the pH your pH balance is your off pH. with like another person or whatever. Or it can be well. This is the whole thing. Okay, so. Okay, hey guys, I listen to your podcast occasionally with my girlfriend, but she's at Fashion Week and turn- and tuned in by herself. She heard about one of you having reoccurring BV because a partner was cheating. I don't think that that's what we were saying because no. neither one of us had reoccurring BV, but some people do have reoccurring BV. But it wasn't because a partner was cheating. I said that I, my vagina was just fucked up. Right, from a partner who was <laughs> and you shoving like cheating. garlic and yogurt. And I think kind of crazy I shoved up your a vagina. bunch of weird stuff Wait, up my are vagina. You yeah, I know oh because God, it I was like you. it was a, it was a bad year. It was a bad summer for me. <laughs> So it was the guy who did the mouse tailing, obviously. And she was so, trying to, like, you know, homeopathic medicine, oh, and someone told her that, but shut okay. yogurt I did in her say that. I can't remember anything. My memory is weird. fucking shot from all the meds I'm on. Okay. So since she had BV reoccur after her period the last two cycles, she's been set off on me like I am cheating. What the fuck, dude? BV can, af- can occur for tons of reasons. I'm a medical researcher and I've showed her clinical trials from Europe to the bowels what is i think that might be the wrong bowels of the food and drug administration and she still takes your story as proof i'm oh, fucking no. around on her oh, that's but like how can a guy who listens to your podcast with his girl cheat on his girl isn't this the ultimate fucking sign of my loyalty that's really sweet either way maybe tell her priscilla hey priscilla hey girl all, or, or all your listeners that bv isn't an in indictment on your man for cheating but also tons of other stuff period birth control lack of good probiotics yeast infection mm-hmm. treatments so true antibiotics ass to pussy play can mm-hmm. cause bv any help would be appreciated since my girlfriend is also latina and is born with a desire to chop off cocks i can relate oh <laughs> so he's absolutely right he's though. so right and priscilla it's true. pay attention it's true you know what I had had a yeast infection and I used yeast infection medication and that and that gave me v- BV when I was in fucking China of all places. And I had a personal assistant, this oh dude God. who I had to be like, um, I, he didn't really speak English. I'm like, down there, <laughs> problems? Can we go to a pharmacy? And he must have thought I was a giant whore because first I'm like, itchy, yeast, yeast. <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, weird smell, like, going on. And he had to take me to the fucking... And in Shanghai, yo, in the summer, it's, like, 100 degrees. And it, that's not really good for down there. And it was, oh like... And I was really stressed Ooh, out. You were cooking around down there. Oof. Girl, I'm never going to get a boyfriend after anyone hears this show. But anyway, <laughs> my I'm happy to say my vagina's been, like, amazing for the last couple of years. I don't know what's going on. But, <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't mean your man's cheating on you. No, no way. That's not... If your man's cheating on you, maybe you're going to get, like, the clap or some shit. Well, but, yeah, like, what you said, maybe it's just, like, something with, like, them together. Like, they're it's not working. Like, the pH balance or whatever. Like Or diet. I mean, anything. Well, I've never had... I've never had BV or whatever, but, like, I would notice, like... There might be like <laughs> well, something off, okay, something okay. Off, like different, right? Like, have you ever had a yeast infection guy. before? Once. Okay, yeah. Yeah. every woman has. Yeah. And, and sometimes, like me, like I had one when I was when I take antibiotics. Now I that know happens all I the have time. to take That's probiotics. What I got it from I got it from antibiotics when I got my wisdom teeth mm-hmm. out. Exactly. And I got my and it's it funny. I came to New York, and I think also because like I like I was all like I I hate it when you have to get so bundled up in the winter. And you're still sweating. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I'm on antibiotics and I'm like still getting like a, like a sweaty like butt like crotch because it's like I'm so bundled <laughs> up. You know what I mean? Yes. You get what I'm saying? Of like, course. I hate that. So that's how I think I got it. And I got it while I was here too. And I was staying at my dad's and I'm like, me and my dad, you know, like we're close, but it's like not that close <laughs> not to where like I close. feel like I can talk to him about those things. So I was like, oh my God, yeah, I can't I even tell my dad. I know. I got I'm not telling right my now. dad I had a use So I like dealt I like dealt with it for like a couple of days. So I got back to LA. It was horrible. Yeah, it happens. So Priscilla, listen, it doesn't mean that he's cheating, Priscilla. No, Priscilla, it, it could he be your sounds diet. like a good guy here. Yeah. He's even like writing into us to tell you, like he's not going to go to like these extreme lengths. Like, if you <laughs> yeah. would, he's not, uh, you know, it's it's not his dick. Yeah, it's it could not. be anything. It could really be anything. Maybe you need to switch up your diet, Priscilla. Yeah, yeah exactly. just take some probiotics. Isn't it crazy fine. what women have to deal with though? Like guys don't have to deal with like all these dick issues. You know what I mean? I like know, we got to right? deal with mad. Like our vaginas are so complicated. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, well, check this out. I'll take this one. Um, right. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, Navadius, maybe. Like his that. name is Navadius. And he's like, hey, Laura and Leah, I'm an avid 
fan of the podcast. Yay. Uh, I was wondering if you could provide some helpful advice on my current situation. I've been separated from my baby mama for two years now, and she's currently dating a moderately successful football player. Only recently, moderate. Recently, he's been showing public affection to my son without my consent. How do I approach the situation? P.S. You can say my name in the air. I'm not ashamed. Oh, he's so cute. The reason he's saying that is because we have a lot of men who write to us and tweet us anonymously. Yeah. We're like their dirty little secret. They listen yeah, they to our yeah, podcast. Yeah. They don't want us to say their like, name. Don't say it. Don't say it. Even you know? though there's like, how is anyone going to know that it's like them? But whatever. They're paranoid. It's okay. Whatever. Um, Navadius. I hope I'm saying your name, your name right. Now, Leah, you're a mother. Yeah. Okay, so I would like your take on this one. So this is interesting because tomorrow... Um, Kiki's dad's dad is getting remarried and he's taking his new girlfriend to the wedding and I'm not going. Oh. Yeah, so him and Kiki and her are going to drive up to the wedding and go together. And I mean, you know, I gave my consent though. I mean, it was also kind of like, we've been broken up for like seven years now. And this is the first time he's ever doing something like this. And I hope that it's real. I hope he, I want him to find love. And yeah. I, I haven't met the chick yet, but, like, I want to. Like, I hope she's cool, you know? Like, I mean... Is it important to you? Well, obviously I am going to tell him, please, I don't want any pictures of on social media of my daughter and her together yet. I don't want that or anything. Right. Like, I'm not ready for that. You yeah. know what I mean? I need her to prove herself to be... to. He's only been dating her for, like, five months, you know? Like, oh, it's, that's, it's very, it's, it's very new. Early. I know yeah. it is early, but, like, my daughter it seems totally cool that... My daughter has more of an issue with me dating because she's very protective of me than Rob dating. So, you know, it's it's a tough one. You need to have an open communication with your baby mama. I mean, me and Rob are like best friends. Me and Rob will go to therapy together to hash things out. You know, you need to be open with her about how you feel. And you should probably... Wait, how long have they been dating? Two years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, they've been, no, separated, he's been separated for two, for two years. years. I don't know yeah. how long that he's he's been she's been dating the football player, but if this man's gonna be around your child, you and the man need to meet. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yep. I think this is how every I know not every family looks like this, but my ideal situation is that like me and Rob and his whoever she may be, if it's her, if it's this current girl, if it's a new girl, can spend a holiday together. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how what it should I be. that and that's and you know, as long as there's no like I said, Rob's my best friend. You know what I mean? So at first I was freaking out. Like, I'm being replaced. I'm being replaced. Like, you know. You can't think about it like I that. Feel, I'm on. not. I know I'll never be replaced, I obviously. feel like you got to accept, though, like, the new boyfriend or girlfriend, too, for the kids' sake. Because it's like, you don't want to deprive them of love. Like, if the other totally. if the boyfriend if she's or girlfriend mad, is cool giving your child love and attention and they're, and they're like, a good, like, kind of like co-parent you know exactly. like why would you want to deprive your kid of that I kid want, should have as much and love it's as not, possible and it's not good for the kid if like the you know there seems like there's animosity and like yeah. putting the kid yeah. in the middle to do shit and I've been guilty of doing that and I'll never do it again because I see good. how much it upset my daughter you know but I did it I did it. I wonder if by up. public displays of affection means like pictures and stuff. You know, what I know I, mean? I don't know exactly. He didn't get I, into that, details. That might mean that. Mm. I mean I guess that's kind of hard to deal with. Like I know I, I have a girlfriend who's broke up with her boyfriend they have a baby together and he got a new girlfriend and i see him and the new girlfriend posting like all these pictures with yeah the no. oh, and i'm like, oh, like no. i do feel Ooh. a little bit bad for her because i feel like it's too soon to Ooh. be getting so like on instagram like all family-ish yeah. like that you that's know? not cool yeah. i mean we all know instagram is bullshit anyway but it's like yeah. that's but i'm that's, really i'm really big on keeping a lot well it's hard but I, I try to keep all my personal personal stuff off of instagram and all not like, yeah, me. me too not you not me but now i deleted a bunch of photos <laughs> just delete them it's like oh never mind you're gone okay <laughs> i have a question for you guys real quick right if um if you started dating somebody that you really like you guys are rocking whatever right but he still has pictures of him and his ex way down the instagram rabbit hole of like last year the year before should that be a concern or should you no, just be like Lord, no it's it so shouldn't old. i think i think that like i know you're asking for a friend yeah, yeah, right yeah. now but you <laughs> <laughs> but i don't think that that's a big deal he might have like forgotten like that they're even on there it's from last year yeah and yeah. maybe, you know, what you, I know mean? What, you know what's funny is that I, I think when other people pointed out, you shouldn't like, you be going down the rabbit it. hole of a year ago. <laughs> yeah, that's like you're, you're too busy way too hard. for that. Your friend's too busy for that. No, 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 I mean, no, no. Actually, I, I'm gonna be very honest with <laughs> Someone you. Someone told you my friends are fucking psycho, and they're like, yeah, and they went down these rabbit holes and decided to point certain things out about the new guy that I'm that I'm dating. Yeah, and Woo. I was like, okay. I didn't say anything to him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I can't. No, I would be no, more alarmed no, no, no. if there was never a picture with any girl. Then that means no, I'm the no, total no. player. No, exactly. no, no. But that's no, me. Not. Don't he's say not. that because that's me. If I never have any pictures of anybody oh, I've oh, ever really? dated on my social media. Red flag. I don't do that. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
kidding. I'm All right, kidding. hold on. Uh, check this one out, okay? Uh, this is from King Kunta. All right. What does that mean? All right, he says, Hey, Laura and Leah, I love, love your podcast. Keep up the great work. I'm currently in an embarrassing dilemma with my wife. We've been married for seven years and uh, I have always had incredible sex. Uh, recently, my wife has been nagging me about introducing another woman into our sex life. He's a lucky guy. Eventually, I reluctantly agreed to it and uh, she found this incredibly gorgeous woman. So gorgeous that I'm concerned I won't last long enough to satisfy both of them. What do I do? And he included a picture of the girl. She's hot. Hot little Spanish girl. Well, that's She's a tough hot. one because what's going to be fucked up is if he if he comes too quick with the <laughs> exactly. with the other girl, and then then she might get jealous. Like, oh, she made you come quick. Like, is it better with oh, her? Oh no, no, no! You know, like, when you're having a threesome, <laughs> hold on. There's needs to be guidelines, and like, if I'm gonna have a threesome. Yo, you're going to start with me and finish with me. Exactly. And there's no coming with her. Like, you're not coming with her. Ever. You know what I mean? Even though, I don't know. I mean, having threesome is very complicated. Everybody has different rules to it. Like, even Amber Rose, she just recently on her podcast talked about having a threesome for the first time. And she was like, I wasn't into it, you know? Yeah. It's like the thought of it. because everybody, it. Everybody's like, wow. But it's honestly, it's not always... What it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Well, you know, I dated a couple like a few summers ago. A couple? Wait, yeah. you dated? Oh, okay. okay. I dated I a couple. Like, yeah, wow. I dated a couple. Yeah, it was only for like a month. It was like I was really not on my medication at the time and like manic. And um, I thought it was like a great idea. <laughs> and I originally, me and the girl were having the chemistry. But uh -huh. she's in this long-term relationship. So her man's not going to let her just like have yeah. something with me. And he's good looking, whatever. But I felt very weird like messing with him. And then there was a time, and then of course we like all, we get, me and her gave each other a yeast infection. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I know. God. And then she had one and I didn't, so she couldn't have sex. And so she's like, you guys just have sex and I'm going to watch. And I was like, how did that work out? I was like, it was the most awkward thing. And I was like, can you guys leave? I can't deal with this. Like, yeah. I can't have, I can't, this isn't turning me on. And he didn't really, he didn't like yeah. turn me on. It wasn't like, um, it was hard being the guest star. Yeah. I think, I think it's mm. easier when it's like, it's, it has to be, like, your boyfriend and, like, you know, like, he's hella in love with you. And, and like, this is just, she's and this just, is just a toy. This is just a toy. Of. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Like, that's the only way I could I would, like, it. hire maybe an escort or something. Like, I wouldn't even want just some normal girl. I want, like, a professional. You know what I <laughs> yeah. mean? Like, like, this is your job to do this and get yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> a professional that's not going to catch feelings or be weird. She's going to be like, pay me, let me bounce, you know, and that's it. Like. Yeah. Honestly, I think I would rather be the guest star. I don't know. Really? I'm too selfish. I don't think I could have my boyfriend. I watch my boyfriend bang uh, Have you chick. ever hooked up with a chick? Yeah, I, I was a guest star. You were? Did you go? I didn't want Did you, like, eat pussy? No. Mm, interesting. I didn't. Did she eat yours? Yes. Ooh, Laura. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was. But it just what I realized, like, okay, that was cool, but it wasn't for me. Yeah. I was like, bah, that was cool. I just, I think I just, I like the one-on-one. -on -one. Totally. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not for me. I'm not, I don't knock it if it's yeah. your thing. Go for it. You yeah. know what I mean? But I'm just, into one-on-one -on -one also. Yeah. But she sounds like maybe she's, you know, I mean, his girl sounds like she wants to get freaky. He's going to have to take take Viagra, dude. Yeah, don't they have those, like, don't they even sell those, like, little pills, like, 7-Eleven, like, at the counter? Like, I wouldn't trust those like, things. Those, like, I don't know. No, I'm <laughs> telling you, my ex boyfriend is one of those, I swear. I was like, what is wrong with you tonight? And he was like, he showed me, and I'm like, they sold those at 7-Eleven. Don't tell me about the Oh, my God. Oh, like, my God. He was, God. He was so chasing funny. you around the house with a big heart on. <laughs> no, like, literally, like, no, like, lasted forever. And I was like, this is not normal. Like, you're, like, kind of killing me now. You yeah, know? you're like, I want to go to sleep. Yeah, those, those I things think actually should work. Take, I think you should take Viagra, and he'll be fine. Oh, man. You think so? Yeah. Totally. I just think he, I think you should just try it. Just try it. Yeah, but what if he's going to freaking oh, bust then with this? It's not for him. And you guys, they, everyone learned a lesson. Or they, can, yeah. they should find someone not so hot. Mm. Yeah, maybe more mediocre. Exactly. Not, the someone picture, that he's not as attracted to. The picture that he sent us, the girl was kind of hot. Oh, yeah. She looks like a little... Yeah. <laughs> little slut. Like a, hot, like a hot little slut. Slut in a good way. Listen, you know? um... Okay, her I have a, a story for you, Leo. Okay, this is for you. I'm skipping. Wait, what? Yeah, this is. A, it's, it, I didn't see this one on the. It's paper. under. It's under nasty ass stories. Leo. Oh, asked one. I already know who this is from. <laughs> Do we say his name or not? Nah? No. All right. Uh -uh. This is a, a, a. I saw him last night. He goes, "Did you get my email?" And um, I'm like, "I didn't see it yet, but I'm sure we're, I'm going to tomorrow." But he kind of. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Uh, first of all, I love you guys. Been listening. Hold on. Let's tell you. We we tell people to. Um, 
email us their nasty sex stories, but like okay. gross stuff because we're into gross shit. Yeah, like it's, it's about just it. it's like know, embarrassing. It's like, just, bizarre. It, it, but it's real life. Yeah, it is. Like it's real life. Like sometimes, like you know, shit happens. Yeah, like shit. Like literally, like, literally, like, like shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've experienced some embarrassing shit on during sex. Um, not what's the, not what's not the most? shitting. No, um, I'm trying. I mean, like I've like Someone, but fallen you already... off the bed, which was like just like retarded. Literally, <laughs> I can like, like see you doing like, that. It was like we're getting like so into, and then it was like oh, shit, like literally fell like off the, the bed and, like, hurt shit, myself. Like when yes. she falls off. That's yeah. it. I mean, I nothing that embarrassing. Well, it was a little embarrassing because like me and my ex, we were like on our balcony in Hawaii, and. I remember, like, it was the middle of the night, so I'm like, oh, there's nobody going to be out there. And then, like, somebody saw us, and they basically saw us doing it on the balcony, which was a little embarrassing for me because I'm not, like, public with my shit like that. Like, I'm yeah. not trying to just be, like, doing it in public. Yeah, watch but, me have sex. Right. Yeah, I mean, I've never, nothing that embarrassing. Thank mine, God. mine was, like, a really loud, long queef. That oh, wait, I've, that's But happened. that happened. I feel but, like that's happened no, to but everybody. Listen, it <laughs> happened, but happened listen, everybody. it happened a half hour after we had had sex. <laughs> Oh and we were in a cab <laughs> together, okay? <laughs> exactly. That was the yeah, worst that's thing worse. that's ever happened that's to me in worse. my fucking life. No. I was like, uh, like, what do I even say right now? Like, that was not a fart. Like, that was like, what? He doesn't oh know what gosh. hole it came out of. You know what I mean? Like, it was, I already oh talked about it. It was so bad. Like, it was one of the worst moments yeah, no, of my life. Yeah, no, that's worse than it happened. All right. <laughs> For sure. All right, so listen to this, okay? He's like, so here it goes, okay? Our friend P. I'm just going to call him P. Um, so here he's like, so I here it goes. Him. One of my nastiest sexual encounters was with my ex when I was in my 20s. We were on the pullout bed in the living room going at it, sitting up, her back against my chest, and I was in her vagina. <laughs> I had my arms around her, pulling her down as I was thrusting up in her. Whoa, okay? Anyway, Damn. we were doing this for a bit. I felt my crotch and my stomach getting wet. Didn't think <laughs> about it for a minute until the smell kicked in. Oh. I pulled back and realized, yo, <laughs> you shat on me. I picked her up and we just started with dookie all over the place on my crotch, on my stomach. She goes to get up and stumbles into the bathroom to clean up and comes and tries to clean me off. I jump in the shower and we just sat there and tried to talk it out, figure it out. Needless to say, uh, we never figured out what happened or ever fucked in that position ever again. Go figure. I mean, what? Oh, like, that's so nasty listen, and embarrassing. One of my best friends, okay? was having anal sex with her man and shit on him. They ended up being, they went, washed each other off and then kept fucking. And now they're married, happily married with kids. So, I mean, it depends on what. That maybe, was, maybe it could bring you closer he's a, together. He's a trooper. He was like, I mean, listen, when you're, well, this is different. Like you were, that was like vaginal sex. Like how do you shit oh. during vaginal sex? Like, don't you know how to close your butthole? I don't mean. She probably ate some bad Thai food or something before. Yo, like, I mean, I have damn. too. And it's been like, oh my God, my stomach. But it's like, you just hold, you fucking tighten your asshole up and you just keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's like I my, mean, it's my biggest nightmare. Like I just, I. I, I mean, I have nightmares just, I first of all, I have dreams that I'm cleaning up shit nonstop. And I don't know. I don't know if it means that I'm constantly feeling like I'm cleaning up messes, but I'm cleaning up human shit. I'm cleaning up dog shit. I'm just, I'm cleaning up tons of animal shit. It's like, I'm just cleaning up shit. It's disgusting. And like, I have tons of dreams where my teeth are falling out and they're plastic. And I've I'm had dreams about them. What does that mean? It means something. It's fucking stress. Is that what it is? I suppose that's actually, I think means, death. I it's like death or something. It's supposed to be like, you're scared of death or something, but I don't, I don't think that's it. I think it's stress for me. Honestly, that stressed me out. Oof. That stressed me out. Hey, um, what the shit story? Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Let me ask you guys a question. Uh, have you heard that you can get a shot of uh, your blood plasma in your clit to get more orgasms? You heard Wait, about that? What? Well, yeah, I was reading a little bit about this, but I'm not exactly sure because I didn't totally read the I article. I would do that. <laughs> Why, get it? Do you have problems? Yeah, uh, like or, I feel like I literally can like only like make myself come. Like, really? Yeah, it's kind of depressing. But wait, how old are you? you? Twenty eight. Well, in a few mm. years, you'll the orgasms will be much better. Believe me. <laughs> I mean, uh, mine when I turn thirty, we're like, Whoa, like no, like I can have one, but like it's just like they like it it's needs, not from they need to really put in some work. You know what I mean? Is it from mm. is it from um like vaginal intercourse or it has to be like clitoral stimulation, yeah, like, right? Like clit yeah, like dude, I don't clit. fucking <laughs> yeah. I'm like, but this is what I I talk about all the time. I use a vibrator during sex. Really? Oh, but she, yeah. But she needs one. I need it to, to come. Yeah. You know, or I could use my fingers. I'm Have you ever been with a man that was like, what are you doing bringing that thing into the bedroom? No. No, I think all guys like like 
toys. I mean, no, some are like, no, really? no, no, no. no. Okay, so one of my girlfriends told me that she was doing it one time, and she asked her man to like do it to her with a dildo. But and that's different. In between, he like pulls it out and throws it across the room. And she said, I just saw it slap against the wall fall. And I was like, oh, uh, what do like, I do? I mean, yeah, right. No, that's. <laughs> I just imagine that visual. Like, I'm telling you, on? listen, get a vibrator and use it during sex. The dick inside with the vibrator on your clit is like bomb, bomb. It's dope. Believe me. Don't get addicted to the vibrator, though, because I know when girls <laughs> usually totally get addicted. vibrators for the first time and they see how amazing it is. Yeah. They just want to stay home and masturbate all day, all yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. They, like one of my girls, like my are, sister. Yeah, one of my girls. I was like, Fat, "You have got, you have got to come out with us. Come out to dinner, do something. I know you're home masturbating. Like if you oh don't, I stop. feel like that's a Sex in the City episode. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Well, it's but real. Who stays home and does it. It's not Samantha. <laughs> was it? No, it's someone else. No, I think Charlotte. it might be Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte becomes addicted to it. Yeah. and doesn't leave the house. One of my friends became addicted. I took her to those babes in to- Playland, toys and toy, whatever like the hell that and, is. Babe in Toyland whatever. or Overpriced whatever. sex toys. The best, though. And I was like, yeah, I was like, you should get it. And she's like, no. I'm like, hi, stop being approved. Just get it, you know? Yeah. Next thing you know, she was someone else. <laughs> she was someone else. I mean, it was good. I don't know how women have... I don't know how women can come from just, like, vaginal sex. I it's, can. You, are you sure? Yeah. Damn. Style. <laughs> no, she said she used to too super Damn. easy in five minutes, and then after a while, you couldn't anymore. And then I started using a vibrator. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fucked my life fuck you up. up. I fucked my life. <laughs> I don't know how you get it back to normal, but it's really, it's mental too, so you got to watch out. But I'm telling you, I'm, I think every girl should have a vibrator. No, of course. I disagree. I was told when I was younger. Get the vibrator. vibrator. Oh, that's that bullshit. Because you're going to fuck up your sensation. Oh, my right. God. And now it's happening. Well, I don't want to use my fingers. I want to fucking. I want to. Yeah. I, wanna bzzz. Bzzz. yeah. Bzzz. Bzzz. I don't want to come in five minutes. I want to, you make, know, make it last. Yeah. 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 Wait, but this is. But listen, is your orgasm from vaginal sex different feeling than the clitoral? Mm-hmm. The clitoral is much better. No? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 I maybe I'm having them, but they're so like nothing compared to the clitoral orgasms. I don't even know it. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I'm anyway, I think all girls should have. Lately, you should so. you should have a vibrator. Experience it at least once. Up, <laughs> yeah. So you have a couple on deck. Um, I got a couple little toys. <laughs> a couple little toys, a little yeah. butt plug. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, can you, can you explain to me how the butt plug works? You just it's like I a pacifier. One you just once, plug just your for, butt. No, no, never. Yeah. I've never tried that one, so I don't know how that works. I don't Stop get lying. it. I, no, no, I haven't tried. I haven't tried a butt plug, but. <laughs> Um, but I don't get it. How does it work? Like, what's like, explain to me? I mean, I only used it once with the mouse tail guy. Whatever, we did everything together, basically. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, he was like, "Let me tie you up. Let me do this," and I was like, "Sure, whatever. I'm not on oh, drugs yeah. anymore, and I'm bored. So I like being do whatever up. you want to do to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it just goes up your butt. It's like small. I mean, I don't, I don't like anything up my butt. I'm not like a butt mm-hmm. ass play person at all. So it was like I just did it like for the hell of it. I still have it. It's like sitting, it's like in my <laughs> sex drawer. The worst is when I leave my vibrator out and the nanny finds it. And like, she just leaves it. Like she moves it to the side of the bed. And like, I'm like, fuck, man. And once Kier found one, I'm like, that's mommy's back massager. Give it to me. She's like, it's pink and it's pretty. I was like, okay, thank you. Give it to me now, Kier. My poor child. Now you have to get like all white ones. So they look not inviting. For well, kids. I mean, I had a giant black one. That was definitely the nanny was probably like this fucking whore. And she's a born again Christian. Oh, my so. God. Yeah. The joys of motherhood. I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> the other the other day I had somebody, this guy, um, sent me like a dick pic on Instagram and he compared his dick to like a dildo and he showed me like she was like he like he just showed me the You're comparison. Always getting these dick pics. It's Weird crazy. ones. I don't get any. I get none. Do you get do you I have... you know, I get yeah, a few on Snapchat, but like I stopped checking my direct Snapchats because I get so many and it's like crazy. But my girl Rosa, who I used to work with, she, oh, yeah, I remember. It was her. actually funny. We were here in New York, and she, like, randomly opened three in a row, and it was a guy in the shower, like, just jerking off. And I was like, first of all, does he have a waterproof phone? Like, How do you like, do that? Yeah, he literally had showering that and, like, phone. soaking wet. Like, you could see, like, I was like, and, and he's just, like, filming and, like, jerking off. And I was like, like, I don't, like, what's the point? Like, is that supposed to, like... Guys are really brave, though, because they, they will show their face. They don't give a shit. Yeah. They're just like, look. I'm like, what? I, I don't, don't get anything like this. No one cares about me. Yeah, no, I've got a couple. I got one too from what, like a what, big, where do a big you want? Guy. You want them? You want them on Instagram or on Snapchat? Both. 
why isn't anyone sending me anything? <laughs> I, I have only Leah, one guy. Leah I don't, Mob. Leah Mob. Leah Mob. Okay. On Instagram. And, and, yeah, on Instagram. And Leah <laughs> underscore McSwizz on Snapchat. Show me some love, okay, guys? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed that everyone else is getting all this shit. I only have one guy on Snapchat that hits me up. And is like, you're beautiful. Mom is fuck. Slay. I love you. You're perfect. And I'm like, thanks. I actually respond back to him because it's only one person. So I'm like, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, yeah, did I ever tell you my my Apple Store story? Your what? The Apple Store. Mm -mm. Okay, so I, oh, I used, God. so when I first I when I first joined the morning show, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I started getting crazy amounts of dick pics, but like <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Like it was ridiculous, right? So I, you know, you have your girl group chat. Yeah. <laughs> so I would screenshot them and I'm up at like 430 in the morning ready to go to work. Yeah. So in the morning, I'm checking my phone. I'm like, oh, oh, that's an interesting one. Even the foul ones, I would screenshot them and just send them in the group chat. Of course. <laughs> so in the morning, the girls would wake up and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> or randomly throw out like a little, I, I would send out a little, a little 1238, 1238. Maybe I just, just screenshot and just send it. So some of my girls would get so mad at me because they would be like, or I would email them and they'd be like, bitch, I'm checking my email at work in a big yeah. cock just pulls up on the screen. <laughs> but so... I used to screenshot all of them. So I had a folder in my phone, okay? It, it, it said foul Cox. Oh, my God. And I had, like, 37 dicks in it. Damn, and 37. Then, yeah, but I, for, I forgot about it. You know what I mean? So when I was having trouble oh with my, my phone, I go to the Genius Bar, right? <laughs> oh, my God. And then he's like, did you back up your phone? Yeah, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, shit. I have the cock folder in there. <laughs> He's going to think I'm a psycho. First of all, he knew that I'd do the show or whatever. I, you, I, listen, those motherfuckers go through your pictures. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Yeah, they of course go they do. through That's probably stuff. the funnest part of their job. That's and what I'd be doing. He's going to see there. like 37 cocks on my phone. Like, I'm going to look <laughs> insane. So I had to like ask him for a bag and I opened it and I was like, and he's looking at me and I was like, look, I, I have the reason I have 37 cocks on my phone is I had to explain it. And he looked at me like, just give me your phone. <laughs> It was so embarrassing. Damn. That's so funny. So now I don't keep them in my phone anymore. No more. No more. No. If I screenshot and shoot it and shoot it out, and then I delete it. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I you can't gotta be no careful with the phone. I can't. I could imagine you probably get a lot of fuckery though. Um who slides in your DMs? I always like to ask people that. You know, I, I get old rappers. Well, I know I haven't had like um I, ha I mean, I've had a couple rappers slide in my DMs, but, like, no, I didn't, like, really, like, act on it or anything. I was like, no, I'm not trying to do that. And I had already, I'll just say, I've, oh, I'm going to put this person on blast. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, I've already got a feature from one of them. So I was like, I already got a feature. Like, sorry. I already need to do that. <laughs> like, we already, I already handled business, you know. Um, yeah, no, like, I've had. Oh, I think I know who that is then. I'll tell, I'll tell you later. But, um, no, like, I've had a couple, but. One time I saw, I feel like I shouldn't be putting people on blast. Like, I, let's just say I saw a couple rappers like going like liking sprees uh -huh. on my page. Of course. Um, well, but then anyone can the, see that. At the same time? Yeah, everybody can see that. Well, yeah, I don't know. So they're trying to compete to see who got your attention first? I guess. I don't know. Like, I, I haven't really had any like dirty ones though, but like on Twitter, I got like two from rappers. And then I've had on Instagram a couple other rappers like go on just like full liking sprees. And I'm like, Clearly, they're trying to get my attention. Right, you're you know? like, okay, I see you. But um, but yeah, no, I don't. I don't check the like. I don't check. I only get the direct messages from people I follow. You know, so I don't yeah. ever check the other ones like to see like all the craziness. I always wonder though, like maybe who was in there because uh. like it's so funny. My girl told me she goes, oh yeah, I DM Machine Gun Kelly and he got back to me and he didn't follow her and I'm like. Damn, he must be going through all of his messages like of bored course, as fuck. You know, of course just, the like, guys are. Oh, the looking guys for some are. Hotties. I'm like, that's of course. crazy though. Like, of course the guys I would are never doing take it. the time to do that. You I've know? seen I've seen rappers get on the phone and like on like the listener lines and to pick up chicks. But like, what's your number? Okay, write it down. Oh my I've god. I've seen that. I think I saw Ghostface do that a couple times. Just random Ghost people. <laughs> yeah, but some people are like, whatever. I believe yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> no shame. Oh my god, that's awesome. By the way, I I found a, a picture of me, you, and Raekwon the other day and made me happy. Oh, yeah. yeah when we went to that's the show. Uh, Leah really wanted to go see Ray Kwan when he was doing his purple tape anniversary. So I took her and we had like an intimate moment. Like it was me, Ray, and her backstage. I mean, not intimate like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had like, a no, me, crazy, like, we had a crazy threesome. No. Threesome. no, no, no. <laughs> Ray's awesome, but no. <laughs> we were talking about, we actually had, a, I had like an incredible interview with him backstage. It was and, awesome. Yeah, we're talking about like, you know, like just hip hop and I like a lot of like, you know, shit that was going on yeah. at the time. Action I, versus go see. Yeah, all of that drama and, you know, Remy. I think Remy. Remy yeah, we talked about Remy, mom. And then he, and Leah made him a sandwich. I made him a sandwich. <laughs> 
And then my boyfriend got really mad at me that I made him a sandwich. Wait, are you serious? Why? Yeah, I know. I'm like, dude, it's fucking Wu Tang. It's Raekwon. Don't you think I owe him a sandwich? <laughs> you know, like, how many good, good fucking songs has he put out? He's basically made the, a, a you know what I mean? Like a soundtrack for our life in like high school. <laughs> I owe this man a sandwich. <laughs> That's so funny. You my, fucking asshole. My girl Frankie actually um, like runs Wu Tang's blog. That's funny. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's funny, but yeah. So I just found, I randomly found that picture. It made me happy. <laughs> I know. That was yeah. a great, that was a fun night. <laughs> anyway, Chanel, what else is going on with you? You have a new project coming out? Music yes, I'm, work, I'm working on an album right now. Um, I just dropped, I just dropped a new music video for my song, Notice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about to go on tour this fall. So like, I'm awesome. gonna be all over. What tour? What tour with who? All over America. Um, me and actually uh, Baby E, who's also with Young Money, um, and my girl Joss o Rude. Uh, she's, super underrated like she's actually the only she's the female who like the lasted the longest on the freestyle friday oh, at 106 cool. in park and she got on it when she was only 17 she was supposed to be 18 and <laughs> she like lied about her age like she's a, i respect it she's an yeah. ill rapper but yeah so she's coming with us too and we're just it's like not we're not going like a tour bus tour but like we're just going everywhere like all over the well, country let us know so, when you're in new york oh yeah that's i'll cool. be back when am i gonna be back out here um I'll let you know. I got to look at my schedule. How does that whole young money situation work for you? It's a complicated situation. Um, mm -hmm. It's a long story, actually. Like, it's a long story. Like, So is it like you're young money, but it's like you kind of just do your own thing? Yeah. And like when you need them, like you yeah. figure it out? Yeah, basically. Well, because like, you know, obviously like like young money kind of, I guess you could say it like kind of fell apart as an actual label once like Birdman and Wayne had their beef. Mm -hmm. um, and it was all happening right when I was like, getting my deal negotiated with Young Money because really I was offered a deal from Cash Money first. Mm -hmm. um, and who, then, reached, who reached out to you, baby? Yeah, through... So I used to be signed to Polo to Dawn mm -hmm. and he was going to... He was like, yo, we're going to get you a Cash Money, da da And I was like, that's dope. I was like, I really want to be Young Money too, though, you know? And, yeah. and I was like, you know, Wayne's the... Like, I was like, I need that Wayne stamp of approval. And, and so then I ended up meeting Wayne through, like, his management and he was like, oh, yeah, we definitely want you to be Young Money. I had already had a cash money offer on the table. So from what I hear, I think that my situation caused a little bit of friction between them. Mm. Um, I'm not very sure about it, so I can't fully speak on it. All I know is that Wayne had my back. He co-signed me. He's you great. know, Birdman wanted to sign me too, but I think there was just complications with like, it's a very disconnected situation. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I can't really it's like- It's sensitive, I know. Yeah, I can't really explain it fully, but um, but yeah, like Wayne's family, it's like I'm still Young Money family. Yeah. I got a BET award with Young Money for best group when um, Great. yeah, like like two years ago or something. But um, so you guys are still rocking. Yeah, we're still rocking, but like, I'm, do you ever see Nicki Minaj? I only have saw her that one time when we won the award okay. on stage, and um, I don't I don't know if she I don't think she likes me or something, but she definitely what wasn't trying mean? to be my friend. Uh, <gasps> no, like we w we were supposed to go do interviews after, like after you get an award, you yeah. go backstage to do like press, you know, and and so we were all going as a group, Young Money this way, and like Nikki started walking the other way, and and I remember everybody was like, Nikki, where are you going? And I was like, I have some weird feeling that she's not walking this way because of me, because like no. she's friends with everybody else. Mm -hmm. I was the only person there she's not cool with. So. Damn. I was like, yeah. I Maybe be, she had something to do. I, I, used, I used to be managed by I the same mean, I people. I can see her too, being so. a major diva, obviously, but like that's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, I love I love Nicki Minaj as an artist. I actually really look up to her, Same. but um, never like what uh, what other girls are signed to Young Money? Uh, the other Chanel, me and the other Chanel have a song ah, together. Yes, oh yes, yes, yeah, Chanel, yes, yes. Chanel. Okay, yes. yes. Chanel so was we, in one of my lookbooks. Yeah, I love her. She's, I, so she's sweet. amazing. Um, so we have a song together. That's it's basically just like us three, I think. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, I, you know, I'm looking forward to your tour. If you come to New York, let us know. Yes, for yeah. sure. I'll let you guys know when I'm out here so, so you can come. Thank you so much for coming, man. Today yeah. was fun. Thank it you. It was cool. Let me see. Hold on. What are you giving me, Tiffany? Hold on. Um. <laughs> oh, listen. We had some listen. Okay. So somebody wanted me. This is for you, actually, Chanel. Okay. Uh, from Alex. Love the podcast. I work at a bank, and after we close the lobby and sit in, uh, after we close the lobby and sit in at drive through. Um, all my coworkers and I listen to your blog and crack up. Uh, we pray that customers don't hear any of it. Keep it up. You guys are hilarious. You made me realize how normal it is to have weird kinks and quirks. <laughs> and whether it be from sex life to personal life, it's comforting to hear. My question for Chanel, though, has she ever found yourself attracted to Rob <laughs> or drama during the entire time you guys were together? 
<laughs> Did anything go down? Also, is the music career your end game? What's your dream job? Anything else up your sleeve? Um, Part one. So I, I will admit that when I first met Rob, I did have a little bit of a crush on him. Um, I was a huge fan of Rob and Big. Like, I thought Rob was like the I funniest. have a crush on Rob. Yeah, he's the funniest. Everyone does. He's Just, the funniest guy yeah. in the world. You know, it's hard to like, I love not the funny like guys. Him. Yeah, exactly. Love the I'm, funny guys. I love personality. Like, yeah. if you don't have, I could be the hottest guy in the world. If you don't make me laugh, like, oh, peace. Forget you know, it. I can't yeah. be with like a dud, like, who just like has no personality. Yeah. yeah. So I did have a little bit of a crush on him, but like, it was always business. Like, that's like my big brother. And those are like my brothers. It's like, like, I, I'm smart enough to know, like, that's not, like, what you should do. You know, like, go hook up with the boss. Like, nope. Kind of, no, yeah. not the thing. So, it never works out. Exactly, never. Exactly, yeah. So. I try to tell, like, even, like, friends of mine that have done it, it never works out. You don't shit what you eat, man. Yeah. Don't do that. It never works out. Yeah. And then and then if you do it right and you're, it, like, you can handle it, maybe the, the man can't handle it. Yeah, totally. it's been it's been a sensitive situation. I've witnessed it. I've they've never. That's like one of my number one rules. I will never hook God, up with I'm anyone. God, I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm at this bitch's office the other day. She's like, "See that one? Yeah, I just hook up with that one right there. It's pretty good. It's a little short, but he's pretty good." I'm like, yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but, but that, I just don't give a fuck. I'm like, whatever. You know, I'm I'm not smart. Like, well, you, it's, but it's also it's different. I think. To well, be I on think TV, the stakes the like, stakes are much higher for you yeah, than yeah. like me in this. You know, in my in your showroom. In the yeah. showroom is a little different than like you know on MTV. Yeah, so. like in front of millions of people exactly. and like having people all up in your business on social media. Yeah, exactly. But um, to finish that question. The, the question, yeah, music is my end game. It's It was actually my be beginning game. I never even thought I'd be on TV. Like Right, that just happened randomly. It happened randomly. I mean, I remember I was hesitant even when Rob first asked me to be on TV. I was like, do I want to do reality? Like, I know sometimes, like, people don't get taken seriously with their music. But, like, at that time, I couldn't afford a burger. <laughs> like, yeah. I was broke, you know? So I'm like... And I was looking if you're, for a and, job. And if you're going to do reality, this is the reality. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and I was sure. like, it's Rob. Like, this is going to be the funnest show. Like, yeah. so, and so that's how I got into it. But, like, music has been my thing since I was a little girl. And, like, that's, like, my goal is to, like, eventually, like, I want to be able to walk down the street and not have people be like, oh, I love your laugh only. Like, I want it to be, like, you know, it's already starting to progress. Now it's like, oh, I love that song of yours. Like, that's I, good. Like, the other day I was at the pet store and the girl's like, I've been listening to your song, um, The Life, all week long. She's like, it, it makes me so happy. I was like, damn, that makes me feel really good you know like because normally it's just like oh i love your laugh like i love your smile and i'm like that's cool but like I, that's not like my talent you know like that's just yeah. like yeah, my natural yeah, personality yeah. like i want to be like known for like actually like doing something not just like sitting on the you couch you have an amazing smile i'm staring at your teeth thank you they're like awesome um, they're actually it's actually i gotta get veneers now because i got into an accident they're not veneers no I i'm got, thinking that they're veneers oh, i'm I had, like damn what braces, dentist did she go to i, I need braces to go to for like mad years but i got into an accident last year and hit this side so this is actually a half fake tooth now this one oh, and I've then this there. one's dead so i had to have two root canals what your teeth are like perfect and white and everything they is look crazy. good but like they're like I, the root canal like keeps getting infected so like my oh, dentist shit. was like now you might have to get veneers i'm like are you kidding me i wore braces for like six years to now <laughs> get like, all no, fake no. teeth like i'm like yeah. this is like my love I, I was obsessed with veneers and the guys uh, like convinced me not to get them i was this I close them. So I'm I just have, worried. See, and they look so good. Because yeah. I have my bottom teeth oh, off the, the first, crooked. The first four, but I want the whole thing, and I want them like bright white. I want them like I want to be like <sighs> like like Hillary Duff, you know. Hillary Duff. I, well, I mean, I want them that big, but <laughs> like Ti when Ti walks in, I'm always like, hi. I'm always staring at his teeth. <laughs> well, they're like really like super whoosh. Yeah, yeah. he has nice it's, teeth. It's on men. It's a little more intense. Yeah. I actually, when I went to get the veneers done, I'm like, can you make these fangs like long? Can you make them longer? Like I wanted them to look like. Like fucked up a little. Like I wanted like James King or like okay. Rose, Rose, I love Patricia her teeth. exactly I love them. or like I get Patricia what you're Arquette. Like I wanted like them to be, and they're like we Did don't you, do oh, that. Speaking of which, you heard Alexis Arquette. Oh my god, I know. It's so, so, crazy. Sad. so sad. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I'm bummer. suffering through fucking Invisalign and I haven't been wearing them. That shit hurts like hell. You haven't been wearing them? I'm such an asshole. I'm it not... really hurts. I'm like, how does that? It, oh, it hurts. Oh, because it's, because it's like it pushing. Tighter, it's right? like you're pushing the teeth, mm -hmm. right? It's just tight, tight, tight. It's like, oh, I'll hop on it though. Uh, let me see one more. Hold on. Uh, I guess Morgan. we're not talking about breakups. Um, <laughs> no. Do you want to talk about breakups? I don't know. I'm just, listen, I just have to say I'm baffled by relationships and breakups and how someone can go from like being like oh my god don't cry um how someone can go from being like your soulmate that you like is your best friend and lover and then like they're just like a stranger in a distant memory like two minutes yeah. later by one thing that they do I mean obviously what I went through was like totally like traumatic and like like bizarre but um 
it's just weird. Yeah. It's fucking weird. And I mean, I feel okay. Like, I thought that I'd be, like, devastated if something like this happened. I'm actually, I told you, I'm really proud of how you're handling this. But I'm, like, I'm, like, okay. I mean, my I, like, have total anxiety, like, throughout my body, and I can barely eat, and I'm smoking, like, 20 cigarettes a oh, day. Oh, Leah. What? But I have to do what I have to do to get through it, you know? Like, yeah. And it's not like I can, like, I used to be able to be like, oh, I'm just going to go fuck so-and-so now and forget about him. I can't, like, that doesn't work mm. for me anymore. Yeah, me either. You know? And also, like, God is, like, or the universe or whatever is totally, like, fucking with me because, like, my two normal, like, sideline dudes that I hook up with, I, like, have girlfriends now. And I can't even <laughs> fucking can't go bang back. them. So it's like, I'm just, like, got to be alone. And No, but now I'm staying at work till, like, 9 p.m. Because I don't have to, like, rush home to, like, make sure I'm with the boy and spending time with him. And, the, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So on like, my nights without Kier, I'm really, like, at work till, like, 9, like, working. And I'm like, so, you yeah, know sometimes what? Sometimes it's, it's good for your career. You know, like, when every time it's, like, so I break good. up, I'm like, all I want to do is just be in the studio and, like, write music. Exactly. More. I'm like, I'm going to write some shit that makes you wish you were still with me. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, so it's, like, it's like sometimes it's good for you. Like, it, I, I think it really it motivates me. It is. And also, Leah has amazing, uh, her clothing, like, Married to the Mob. She has amazing collaborations coming out. Yes, I do. So it's you have a lot of yeah, exciting shit lot, happening. No, there's a lot of good stuff. And going I love on. her clothes. I wear it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> so you're right? such a big supporter. I appreciate it. And Thank you me. always look, like, so bomb and all this, Thank like, you. What's, stuff the that you wear? The, what's the Married to the Mob website? mttmnyc.com. Boom. All right, look, we're going to wrap Go this shop. up. We're going to we're going to wrap this up. Chanel, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Yay, and proper etiquette. Awesome. This is the wrappage of uh episode 13. Shit, man. I'm going to make sure Lucky I listen 13. to every episode now. You have to subscribe. It's- listen, when you're on the flight going home, listen to the podcast. Okay. You're going to yeah. crack you. You're going to crack the fuck up. Yeah, Wait, I, this is totally did you hear one? type of show. Did you hear one yet? No, no. <laughs> I had Kiana's like I'm gonna listen to everyone now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and a big shout out. Hold on, we have uh, some international shout outs to uh, France, Ghana, Morocco, uh, Belgium. Oh, sick. Cameroon, Italy, Pakistan, Egypt, and Thailand. These are all people who tune in. That's dope. I'm telling you, it's so dope. Sick. We're getting a lot of like a lot of super love, man. It's That's so really tight. Cool. Girl so, power, motherfuckers. Yeah. So subscribe, subscribe to us on iTunes. On leave comments and yeah, rate, rate us. us. Yeah, rate improper us. etiquette and, and email us improper etiquette podcast at gmail.com. Tweet us at Laura Styles at Chanel West Chanel Coast. West Coast at Leah McSweeney. Oh, <laughs> I need a corner. Honestly, <laughs> it's like well, you're isn't it's Leah Mob on Leah Mob. Is Instagram. Leah Mob on Twitter. I think someone fucking took it. I'm gonna look you into that today. It. You can get I think it. I'm gonna look There's into that. There's ways to I'm get gonna it. look into that today. All right.